Hello, hello guys, hello Aaronators and welcome back to my channel where we react to music but always stay honest. I hope you're doing great today and I hope you're ready for the today's video because this time we're gonna be checking out Jimin's solo song Serendipity. After I reviewed V Singularity, this definitely has been the most requested one, the most requested solo song, so I decided to go through with it, you know. Me, myself, I'm really excited for this song because I love Jimin, I love his voice, I think it sounds brilliant, and I'm looking forward to hearing just him, you know, and this song, it's a solo song, so it's just gonna be him. Again, really excited, so let's jump into it. But before you do that, of course, make sure you check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. Got the earth. Alright, alright, very soft beginning of the song. There's almost no instrumentals in the background and because of that I wasn't sure about the rhythm, you know, I, I, I was trying to move to the rhythm of the song but I couldn't really find it. And I don't dislike it in any way because it makes it a little easier to focus just on his voice and that's what I've been planning to do with this song. And just like the music here is soft, his voice in the beginning of the song is on the softer side but I know it's not the only dimension to his voice, that's for sure, because I know he can go super high and super powerful when he wants to, and that's what I love about him. He's got many colors in his voice to paint this song with. One thing that I liked in particular, and we're gonna check that out in just a sec, is the way he was starting some of his phrases with this vocal fry effect. Let's check it out. Just a little bit of vocal fry right there in the beginning of a phrase makes it more interesting because if he was to sing it in a more plain way, you know, without really doing anything, it wouldn't sound as engaging and exciting. And an obvious way to make the music more exciting would be to sing high notes, but of course you can't do it in the very beginning of the song, that would just be ridiculous. So I love what he's doing here and I'm gonna say it once again, I really don't get why he was bothered about his voice not being good enough because he is good enough he's amazing so you know what we say on this channel jimin you nice keep going and yeah let's continue with the song <laughs> Alright, I love the transition from the verse to the chorus here and what I like especially is that of course they added a few new instruments to make the chorus sound bigger but those new instruments, new sounds, they're all bassy, you know, they're not high frequency sounds so it, it still maintains, it helps you maintain the focus on his voice instead of like being overwhelmed with the instruments. Because actually we perceive lower frequency sounds as quieter, so they can technically be the same volume level, but we're not gonna notice them as much. So in this case, the only high frequency instrument that, that's playing in the chorus is just his voice. And now let's check out his transitions when he went for a softer sound. They were absolutely amazing. <laughs> Gosh, how can you not love his voice? Do, do you remember guys what he was saying in that video when he was complaining? He was like, I want my voice to move the audience and everyone gets moved by your voice, Jimin. Again, it, w it would just be so awesome if he actually saw this video because I wanna, I wanna speak to him directly, not, not to Jimin on the screen, you know, right here, but Jimin behind the screen, behind the monitor because 
Man, you, you're such an inspiration for so many people, for so many vocalists. You're such a role model. Your voice is absolutely outstanding. I love it and I would love to have your voice. And a lot of people, a ton of people would love to have your voice. So please just keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry, you're great already. You don't have to work so hard for it. You're an amazing musician, amazing singer, and an amazing person. So thank you for that. And of course, you're good looking as hell. I think we can all agree on that. And now talking about the music video, this shot stood out to me in particular because I love the color difference. We've got just a little bit of yellow right there. It's like a little sun and all around it's mostly blue and as we know yellow and blue are the opposite colors so it makes for a very nice composition for this scene <laughs> It's so beautiful. Look at this smile, guys. He's so adorable. He's so sweet. You, you can't help but just melt from the inside. And look, there's a lot. He's, he's using this yellow blanket and I'm wearing a yellow t-shirt. I'm really not sure why I mentioned it though and like where I'm going with it. The fact that we're matching colors here, uh, but yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you could make some pictures or memes or something. Again, now, what what kind of memes? So, okay, let's just forget about this comment, all right? And now, my guess is after this chorus, we transitioned, instead of going into the chorus, we went right to the bridge because it's a very short song, right? It's like two minutes, 20, something like that. So you don't really have enough time for the second verse. And of course his voice plays a big role in this nice transition. And there was a particular word or syllable that I really, really like the way he sang it. Let's check it out once again. I don't speak Korean yet, so I'm not completely sure what word he said right there, but to me it sounded like gom. So listen for gom. <laughs> And again, this is that case where I can't really put my finger on what exactly that I liked and, and the way he did it. But it's like, it's this, it's the free feeling. It's, it was very flowing and like unrestricted. I mean, if I really think about it, it probably comes down to the way he shaped his mouth and his throat and the different harmonics aligning and creating that sound. But yeah, we're, we're getting too technical here. And now guys, look at this scene. It's just so beautiful. And it actually reminds me of that time I was traveling to New Zealand and I was flying on a plane that had these little lights on the ceiling and it kind of, the ceiling kind of looked like this star, starry sky, but of course not as beautiful. But yeah, like when I get my own house, you know, a house of my dreams and when I'm gonna be thinking about how I want my bedroom, I'll definitely consider having something like that on my ceiling, you know, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, now I'm really confused with the structure of the song because that part that I was calling a bridge wasn't actually the bridge as it seems and the chorus wasn't the chorus because that part that came in where he was singing Let Me Love You, that sounded like a chorus. That would be a, a good fitting chorus for the song. But the thing is we don't have it repeating throughout the song. So it, it's really interesting what they did here. Again, I like it. It makes it unpredictable, you know. You keep hearing something different with every new part because usually it's like verse, chorus, and you expect another verse, it comes in, then another chorus, then the bridge, then the chorus again. But here it was like a verse, then something like a mini chorus, then a bridge, 
and then a full-on chorus, a different version of a chorus. Really interesting. I'm wondering if Jimin actually took part in, in creating and writing this song. I really want to know, guys. Let me know in the comments. And now, guys, let's check out that awesome, awesome run that he did. Brilliant, brilliant. And uh, all of them, Jungkook, Jimin, V, they all have so much vocal control. They can do anything with their voices that they want. And you know, if you're an aspiring singer, an aspiring vocalist, just remember the fact that even Jimin struggled with it and he was practicing so, so, so hard to achieve this level. So don't give up, just work hard, you're gonna get it. And yeah, I, I think I should take that advice myself as well, you know? Oh, okay guys, now if I can handle it, I'm gonna go back and re-listen to the whole song with the lyrics uh, to, to understand the meaning better. I'm only gonna insert little parts because I can't play the whole video. <laughs> Alright guys, now I kind of don't want to say it, uh, but I, I gotta be honest because this is the, uh, the Honest Reaction channel. Uh, Jung I love Jungkook and I love V, but from now on, my, my vocal bias is Jimin. As you know, it was Jungkook before, but like, yeah, J Jimin is just too good. I mean, his voice, wow. This song, like, it, it really touched me, you know? It I really connected with it, that's the thing. And again, don't get me wrong, I love all of them. I love V, I, V is so unique. And Jungkook, he's always gonna stay my, you know, first bias before I switched, but Jimin, the, yeah, I I just like him more for some reason, in this song especially. All right guys, thank you so much for recommending me to check out this one, and I'm sorry, I, I know I've been getting that very important comment, very important notice that I've been reacting to, to music videos out of order, but I, like, I can't wait that long. I want to check out their solo songs. So after I'm done with, like, all of the music videos, all of the solo songs, I'm gonna check out one of those videos that explain the story behind everything, so don't worry. But now, with this said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed this song, then you know what to do now. You leave a like, you subscribe, and you click the bell. I will see you all, Aaronators, in my next video, and as always, take care, keep listening to great music, and love.